everybody and uh, welcome to my 10th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how time works. Um, I don't get too excited, I'm not going to show you how all of time works, uh, just time in Excel uh, which is almost as equally as exciting. Uh, but time is very similar to dates in Excel so in the last couple of tutorials we're going over dates and how rather than just being kind of day month year uh, how you see them on the screen and that's how they're stored they're actually stored as a number uh, and that number represents how many days it's been since the first of the first 1900 now time is slightly different but it follows exactly the same concept. So say we put in the current time, uh, normally you'd put this in, say you put in it's 0914. Uh, and that's the current time at the moment. Now, again, if we just right click and go to format cells uh, and then select general, you'll see that again, this is stored as a number rather than a uh, number of minutes or hours or seconds uh, and what this number represents is uh, again how many days have passed since the first the first 1900 so if you only put in a time it's going to assume that the date is zero so 0 0.384 means it's been roughly one third of a day since first of the first 1900 uh, so if we put in a couple of fractions, it's 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.3, uh, if we put in all of these and we go to format cells and then put them all to time, you'll see that I'm doing quarter past nine, 12 o'clock, six o'clock and eight o'clock. Uh, so the decimal point so 0 0.5 say represents halfway for a day which would be 12 o'clock uh, and then uh, 0 0.75 represents three quarters of the way through the day and so that's six o'clock if we were to put in uh, the date and the time so say we put in today's date today's time uh, and we were to change that to general you'd see that we now have our whole number, which represents the day, uh, and then we still have our decimal point, which represents the time. Uh, and this makes it very easy to work with again. So here we've got the current time. There we've got the current date, if we make that general. Uh, and then to get the current time and date, you simply just add the two of them together. Uh, and then that should come up with probably not the current time and date. Uh, if we go into custom, we can make it so it shows both of them. There we go. Uh, so it doesn't show the current one because it's already been three minutes past since I put this one up here in. Uh, but it gives you the idea that if you're doing any kind of calculations on your times, you're actually going to be doing them on this section here. Uh, and that makes for quite easy calculations on things. So say if we want to work out how many minutes something is. Well, we, we start off with how, what percentage of a day it is. Then we just need to work out what, how, times that by how many minutes you'd find in a day. So if we do equals that times... 24 because that's how many hours there are and then times 60 uh, and then if we just put this to general format and that how tells us how many minutes it is in a day uh, if we want to do how many how what the time is between two different times you just do one minus the other and that will give us six hours uh, and again we can just convert that to minutes so if we want to see how many minutes there are between it so times 24 that would show us how many hours so six hours uh, and then times by 60 and that gives us minutes 
Uh, you'll notice that you have to mess around with the formats quite a lot with date and time. Uh, it's not always completely intuitive as to what you need. So just remember that you need, need to format your cells, go to number, uh, and then choose your relevant formatting. Uh, I'll be going over this number formatting in more detail in later tutorials, so don't worry if you don't understand this fully yet. Uh, just bear in mind that that's the reason why quite often dates show up as funny. Uh, and that's going to be it for this tutorial on time. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a few different formulas you can use with time. So uh, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.